addition to additional roll call votes. Any procedural or motion related votes during today's markup will be dispensed with by a traditional roll call vote. Our first item for consideration is HR 10133, the Timely Stock Disclosure Act. The clerk will please designate the bill. H.R. 10133, the Timely Stock Disclosure Act, a bill to amend Title V United States Code to require the reporting of periodic transaction reports not later than 15 days after receiving notification of the requirement to report a transaction, but in no case later than 30 days after such transaction and for other purposes. Without objection, the bill should be considered as read and open for amendment at any point. Without objection, so ordered. The chair recognizes himself to offer an amendment in the nature of a substitute. The clerk will please designate the amendment. An amendment in the nature of a substitute to H.R. 10133 is offered by Mr. Comer of Kentucky. Without objection, the amendment is considered as read, and the substitute will be considered as original text for the purposes of further amendment. I recognize myself for five minutes for a statement on the bill and the amendment. I support H.R. 10133, the Timely Stock Disclosure Act. Over 45 years ago, Congress passed the Ethics in Government Act. This landmark legislation addressed conflicts of interest and the appearance of corruption. The goal was, and remains, preventing real and perceived conflicts of interest among those fortunate enough to re receive the public trust. Our ethics laws accomplish this by requiring certain federal employees and candidates for offices to close financial interests that may relate to their official duties. Over the years, Congress has advocated additional legislation with similar intent, including by passing the Stock Act in 2012, which required financial disclosure flyers to publicly report certain stock transactions within 30 days. That law is intended to provide an additional layer of protection against potentially illegal insider trading that may occur if senior federal employees and congressional members and senior staff use special knowledge from their official service to trade stocks in a way that benefits them personally. H.R. 10133 would strengthen the Stock Act reporting requirements by shortening the current 30-day reporting requirement to 15 days. The idea is that the faster that the public can view the disclosures, the sooner authorities may intervene to address potentially illegal insider trading. I want to thank my colleague, Mr. Burchett from Tennessee, for introducing this legislation, and I urge my colleagues to support the Burchett bill. I now recognize Ranking Member Raskin for his opening statement. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, <clears throat> I am uh, very happy to support the Timely Stock Disclosure Act today. Um, the Stop Trading on Congressional Knowledge Act, or the Stock Act, was signed into law in 2012 to address the problem of insider trading in Congress and the executive branch, among other things. It requires the president, VP, senior executive branch officers, members of Congress, senior congressional staff, and others to report all transactions over $1,000 involving stocks, bonds, and commodities within 30 days of learning that such transaction uh, has taken place and no later than 45 days after such transaction. H.R. 10133 would reduce those reporting requirements to 15 days and 30 days respectively, requiring more timely disclosure. While this is a modest step in the right direction, it fails to meaningfully and comprehensively address the public's concern that members of Congress are able to use their access to confidential information to enrich themselves in the stock market and that their federal policymaking decisions may be shaped by their own personal financial interests instead of the common good. Members of Congress simply should not be allowed to trade individual stocks in office. The floor of the House of Representatives should not be like the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Many bills have been introduced to take this step, which has the support of 88 percent of Democrats and 87 percent of Republicans, according to a 2023 poll. The public's position on this is clear, it's compelling, and we should work with the other committees of jurisdiction to pursue legislation to completely ban the trading of individual stocks by members of Congress. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I look forward to working with you on that, and I yield back. Gentlemen, yield back. I now <clears throat> recognize the sponsor of the bill, Mr. Burchett from Tennessee, uh, for his statement on the bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I feel like I should withdraw this bill with all the support I'm receiving. That, that kind of scares me just a little bit. Um, 
I'll have to go back and reread the bill, but the Timely Stock Disclosure Act is a much needed step towards transparency. And for the record, my um, $9,000 portfolio, which is mutual funds, is my, managed by my buddy Tommy Seiler in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, so I totally support removing individual stock trades, and I will vote accordingly. Um, but this bill would amend the Stock Act of 2012 to reduce the periodic transaction reporting timeline from 30 to 45 days to 15 to 30 days. And you're, and, uh, you're right, Ranking Member, of this I wish we could go farther. I'm just trying to get us, we're trying to eat this, this hog one bite at a time. And specifically, this bill requires the President, Vice President, members of Congress, and senior government officials and at G15 or higher and are making over 120000 per year to report their stock trades within 15 days after they're notified that they need to submit the report, but under no circumstances later than 30 days after the transaction itself. Congress has a 19% approval rating, and most of the country, country thinks this body is, correct, is corrupt, I being one of those, and I don't blame them. Our constituents elected us to write laws directly impacting the American people, yet certain members consistently outperform even the best hedge funds in the stock market, raising questions about the intent behind the bills we passed, rightfully so. But Congress does not have a monopoly on government corruption. We've seen it through all branches of government. And additionally, our federal agencies are constantly writing rules that have the force of law while continued to trade stocks. If federal employees and officials want to continue to participate in the market they regulate, there needs to be some dadgum transparency. While I believe there should be a total ban on members of Congress and high-ranking government employees trading stocks, passing this legislation is a necessary step in the right direction in helping restore confidence in the U.S. government. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Mr. Ranking Member, for your support. Gentleman yields back. Do any other members wish to be heard? Seeing none, the, the question is now on the amendment in the nature of a substitute. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed signify by saying no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. And the amendment is agreed to. The question is now in favorably reporting H.R. 10-133 as amended. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed signify by saying no. In the Chair recognizes the gentleman from Arizona. A request to roll call vote, please. A roll, recorded vote has been requested by the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Biggs, 